Hello there, in this video we will be adding a search engine Algolia to our previously created headless commerce application. Our headless commerce application looks really good. However, right now we can only navigate to the product pages of the products that are here in the product carousel. In a real application you would need a search bar that would allow you to navigate to the product of a certain handle, like a query. And this is exactly what we will do today. We will add Algolia search so that we will be able to search for a certain product in our e-commerce store. To connect Algolia to our headless commerce application, we will be using the official Nax community module for Algolia. I am especially happy to say that because I am the core maintainer and the developer behind this integration module. To display search results, Algolia needs an index with the records that will be the same as the ones we were using in our Shopify admin dashboard. Keep in mind that in this particular case, I uploaded the same CSV file that we were using in Shopify. So in a real application, you would need a way to update this index after updating your product database, for example, by using webhooks. Remember to save the name of this index here as we, it will be needed later in our tutorial. The first thing we need to do to add Algolia to our Next application is to install the Next.js Algolia module. Let's now add this module to our naxconfig.ts file. In order to make our Agolia module work correctly, we need to pass some configuration options. In this case, an API key and an application ID that we'll get from the Algolia dashboard. In this case, we will store both of these values as an environment variables. We can get both of these environment variables by going into our Algolia admin dashboard, here in the bottom left, the settings, and here API keys. Here we have the application ID and the search API key. I have already copied these values and added them to our application and the .env file right here. Search bar is usually located in the header component, so let's add it there. Let's open up a new script tag here, which will be a type of setup and lang ts. Inside, we will create a new const and we will the structure result and the search. And it will equal to use search, which is a composable from the Nax Algolia module. As a parameter here, we will pass the name of the index that we, were cre we created in the Algolia dashboard. So in our case, it will be headless commerce. Next, we'll create a new ref called heads and it will equal to ref, which will be an empty array for now. And we'll also create a method here called fetch search results. That will be an async method that will accept an event and inside we will have await search which is a method from the use search composable and inside of it we will have an object and inside this object we will have a property called query and as a query we will pass event dot target dot value And the next step, we'll set the value of hits 
to the result dot value dot hits that will be fetched from the Algolia. We are not using this method now, but it will be used in our input later. Let's add some styling to our div component here. We will add a flex and items center so that the search bar will be on the right of the logo and will be positioned in the center. Let's add another div here with a class of flex justify center and relative. And inside of it, another div that will have a class of MB free, merging bottom free, and with 96. And inside of it, we'll open up an input tag that will have type of search, ID also search placeholder, which will be search for products and we'll have an input event handler, which will equal to our fetch search results method. And we also give it a bit of styling. After this div here, we'll add another div that will have a condition based on whether we have a hits. And we also add some styling as well. Inside of it, we'll open up a unordered list with some styling. And inside we'll have an LE tag, which will have a V4 loop over hit hits that are in the hits array. We'll add a dynamic key to each of the elements which will equal to hit dot object ID and we'll also give it a bit of styling. Finally we'll add a click event handler that will basically empty our hits array. We will do that so that we will be able to close the search bar after a user clicked the certain option. Inside our LE tag, we will open up a next link as we want each option to navigate our user to the certain portal page after the click event. So we will create a to prop that in this case we will navigate the user to products slash hit dot handle. And we'll also give it a bit of style. Inside of the next link we will open up an image tag with a class of with 20 and an SRC which will equal to hit and will access the property called image SRC. This looks strange, but you can easily see in our Algolia dashboard that the these are just the names of the properties of the columns here. So handle object ID and in here image source. We'll close up the image tag and right below below it we'll add a p tag with a class of margin left four and inside of it we will print the hit dot title Let's start the project and see if it works.
As we can see, we have the search bar here, and when we start typing, we will see the search results. When we click on a certain option, we will be redirected to that product page.